I'm right on the museum island in Berlin. Here you'll find five museums and I want to show you three of them in 360 degrees. The Alte Nationalgalerie, the Altes Museum and the Neues Museum. On my tour you can decide what you want to see. Just look around. Put on your VR glasses, move your smartphone or focus on your PC on the area and direction that you are interested in. Take a look at the architecture of the Alte Nationalgalerie. The design of the building is based on a sketch by King Frederick William IV of Prussia. The museum was founded after a banker and consul, who died in 1861, donated a collection of artworks to the Prussian state. This gift included works by Caspar David Friedrich and Karl Friedrich Schinkel. The Alte Nationalgalerie displays paintings and sculptures representative of the major art movements of the 19th century. Among them, you'll find the Impressionists on the second floor. Particularly well known is the Winter Garden by Edouard Manet. The third floor is dedicated to exhibiting art from the Romantic and Realist movements. And now let's go to the next museum. On the left side of the Alte Nationalgalerie, you'll find the Neues Museum with its neoclassical architecture. It has prehistoric and early historic collections and shows ancient Egyptian artifacts. So let's go inside and have a look. Nine thousand objects are displayed at the Neues Museum, among them statues and sarcophaguses. There are many highlights, including the bust of Nefertiti, which unfortunately cannot be filmed, as well as this ancient elk skeleton. The boy of Xanten in the Bacchus Hall, over there in front of the windows, is worth a look. The antique bronze statue originally served as a valley stand, offering guests a tray filled with drinks and snacks. Antiquity also plays an important role in the next museum. Behind me you see the Altes Museum, the foundation building of the first royal and nowadays state-run museums of Berlin. And as you can see, it has a prominent position next to the Berlin Cathedral and the city castle that's being reconstructed at the moment. And when you look at the architecture of the old museum, you might think of the ancient Greece. And that's what expects you inside. The Rotunda puts you in the mood for ancient Greek, Etruscan and Roman exhibits, making it a great place to start. The ground floor gives insight into the development of ancient Greek art. On the upper floor you will find exhibits focusing on Etruscans and Romans. Well known here is the Green Caesar bust and the depiction of Cleopatra next to it. Both of them were also probably the most famous lovers of antiquity. On the museum island, other than the Alte Nationalgalerie, the Altes Museum and Neues Museum, you'll find the Pergamon and Bode Museums. These are also well worth a visit, but visiting all exhibition houses in one day would be a bit too much. <laughs>